Hey guys, it's me. I went to the sea turtle thing at the library earlier. I got too close to the sea turtles, I guess. I leaned over to get a closer look, because, you know, all the people were pushing and all. One jumped up, snapped me right there. We had to go to the hospital to get my, you know, that side wire shut, so. If this, if me talking like this annoys you, I'm sorry, but it's the way I gotta talk for the next, at least the next week. Psych. <laughs> uh, we didn't really, um, I mean, I didn't really get snapped by a sea turtle, <laughs> but probably tricked you there. Um, I'm going to be going outside again today, first time in a while. Um, but I do have a complaint about the sea turtle thing. I thought we were going to see live sea turtles. I mean, they didn't even have that. They had this plastic sea turtle that they called Tina. They didn't even talk about it that much. They just talked about like the watershed and how it affects sea turtles and all. I mean, that's just freaking ridiculous, you know? Um, so, this was on the Comcast page earlier. You can still, well actually no you can't. So read it because it'll probably be tomorrow by the time I post this. Um, the autopsy, wait, is that how you say it? Autopsy? Whatever. The autopsy for Paul Gray, the basis of Slipknot, came in and it says that he died of a morphine overdose. Wait, is it morphine or morphine? I think it's morphine. He died of a morphine overdose. Um. So, I saw that on Comcast page, and I'm like, wow. And I was just thinking I should make a tribute with the song, Till We Die. I mean, that's a fitting song. I don't mean to offend anyone. So if I do, sorry. But, like, I'm not, well, I am a diehard fan, but, like, I think other bands are better. Um, some of those other bands could be Bullet For My Valentine. Um, I think they're kind of better. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, no offense to the eight remaining... Or seven. No offense to the eight remaining members of Slipknot, but... Both of my Valentine just stops you. I mean, Corey Taylor, his screaming... It's so unique that sometimes it scares people. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I've got to go in. Like, inside. These stupid bugs, they, they won't stop annoying me, plus it's too damn hot out here. Um, so, that was weird. I'm sure this little kid go, no, like he was getting raped or something. Um, somewhere up there. So, as I was saying, it's too hot out here. I mean, it may only be, yeah, it's, June 22nd right now. Oh, and I didn't even realize this, but yesterday was the first day of summer. Like, first official day. Um. But these bugs, like, I just realized this earlier. From yesterday being outside for half an hour, I got at least 20 bug bites all over me. Probably just got five more from being outside for how long has it been? For about four minutes. Um, so, yes, last night we watched 2012, the movie, and, oh, I feel so much better. That's what she said. <laughs> um, what, and, and I thought the movie was, like, okay. Some people are saying it sucks, some people are saying it's the best movie ever. I just say, meet in the middle, it's good. Um, the best spot, the best character. Just tell me my mom doesn't know I'm recording. Shh. Gotta go in my pocket. That's what she said. Dude! Alright, I'm back in. I'm in my room. Alright, I'm back. It's kinda dark right now. There we go. 
Now I'm gonna open my curtain. Let that be light! Alright, sit you down here. As I was saying, like 2012 is an, eight, is an okay movie. I didn't think it was awesome. But it was pretty good. Um, the storyline was pretty stupid. Like, because why bother trying to scare people if it's not really going to happen, you know? Like, it just adds to the theory that the world really is going to end in 2012. But, um, like I was saying, like, I wasn't saying anything, actually. But, uh, the best character in the movie, by far, is probably the crazy guy, Charlie, played by Woody Harrelson. Um, I wish, like, his character would have not died at Yellowstone. So I thought his character was freaking hilarious. You know, all his radio broadcasts always, like, cracked me up. Especially that one animation that he made. That was really funny. And if you guys got no idea what I'm talking about, go watch 2012. Um, I would recommend it. Um, I'd probably give it out of 10 stars. Or out of 10, whatever. Maybe a 7, 7.5. But it gave me the greatest idea I've had in probably freaking forever. They should make a 2012 The Ride at Universal Studios. <laughs> it would be so freaking epic. You know, assuming that Charlie hadn't stayed at Yellowstone. Oh, there's some spoilers ahead, so, you know. If you haven't watched the movie, you might want to turn it off now. Go watch it and come back to this video. Um, yeah, assuming that Charlie hadn't stayed at Yellowstone and did go with Jackson and everyone, um, it follows him on one of his taping sessions that he plans to air to TV or the internet if they ever, you know, survive. And it takes you through the airplane and everything. And it would, it would have to be a roller coaster. And it would be really bumpy at when the earthquakes over Los Angeles and everything. Um, yeah, well, that's just my thoughts. What are your thoughts on the movie? Leave a comment below. Okay, well, uh, did I tell you already? Oh, yeah, I did tell you. I already cleaned up under there. Um, yeah, today's really boring. That's what happens in summer. You know? You get bored easily when you can't go anywhere. Um, as we speak, day 13 is being uploaded. Well, yeah, it's almost 5 o'clock now. Um, so I guess I will see you guys later. You gotta go now, watch some TV. Oh, I think I might have already said this, but I've got to read October Sky for school. Worst book ever. Um, I gotta read that for school next year and answer all these questions. Again, I don't know if I've already said that, but that's just ridiculous. Like, I'd rather read books like this, you know, Carnivore, or like this, you know, Sphinx. Um, I don't know. Have you guys ever read October Sky? Like, not just watch the movie, read it? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Oh! That just reminded me. I've been meaning to do this for a long time. Vladimir Todd books. Best freaking vampire series ever. Pones! The Twilight series. You gotta go out and buy these. The first one is called 8th Grade Bites. The second one is called Ninth Grade Slaves. The third one is called 10th Grade Bleeds. The fourth one is called 11th Grade Burns. And the fifth one that comes out in October is called 12th Grade something. I forget, um, well, I gotta go now, because this video's getting kind of long. Oh, I applied for the YouTube Partner Program. We'll see how that goes. I'll let you know tomorrow. By the way, it's a two-week anniversary today of the starting. Um, so I will see you later. Bye.